Hello, my name is Harold, this is Tech on Tech, and today we're going to download, install, and troubleshoot Java and Windows 11. So let's get started. All right, I have here a copy of Windows 11. A couple of things here I got to click off on. All right, the first thing we're going to do is, now this computer has Java already installed on it. Now you may be able to skip this step, but the first thing we're going to do in troubleshooting is to both make sure and strip out Java on the computer that we're working on, just in case that previous version is having a problem. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download what's called the Java removal tool. And to do that, we're just going to do a search for it. Uh, Google searching works also should come up as the first link here. So we'll go ahead and left click on that. That should load Java or should load the Java download page. Second one I'm going to search while I'm waiting for that is the Java offline installer. Now, there are actually two installers. Uh, one is an online one that connects to the internet and downloads the entire installer. And the other one, you can download the entire installer up front so it doesn't have to connect a second time to the internet to install it. Uh, we'll grab that here in a second. It's the reason is some firewalls and some programs may not cooperate with that version. So it may just be better for troubleshooting to download the offline installer. But first, let's go ahead and strip out the old version. So here I've got uninstalled Java versions. I'm going to go ahead and left click I agree and download the Java uninstall tool. And while I'm at it here, let me go ahead and go over here. Left click on download Java for Windows offline installation. We'll go ahead and left click here to download Java, the uh, offline installer. All right, so we've grabbed both of those. All right. Now, step one, we're going to strip out the old version of it. Now, to show or verify if we have Java on here ahead of time, what we're going to do is go down to the search button here. We're going to type in CMD and press enter. To verify if we currently have Java, we're going to run the command java-version. That will tell us if we have Java on here. Now this computer does, but let's assume we're having a problem or there's something corrupted in that installation. We want to start by stripping that out. So let's go back to downloads where I downloaded the removal tool. Let's go ahead and double left click on it. Give that a second to load here. All right, momentary loss of internet connection is fixed. So let's go back. I'm going to double click on Java uninstall tool and click yes. All right, now found out something interesting just a couple of seconds ago, and that is that this tool will not run unless you have an internet connection. So make sure you are connected to the internet and continue to be connected to the internet while you run this tool. All right, I'm going to go ahead and click I agree. That is the version that I currently have installed and check mark. So I'm going to click next and then I'm going to go ahead and click yes to main. Let's see. It says maintain the cache of reloading commonly used Java and store log files. Actually on this, I'm going to go ahead and click no and let it completely utterly remove everything. And that's it should be completely uninstalled. Should be able to verify that by going over here and running the Java version command. Yep, Java is no longer installed. All right. Now that we've got Java completely, utterly stripped out and verified that it's no longer on the computer, we're going to take a quick second. You want to disable all antivirus and anti-spyware programs. You can usually achieve this by going to the bottom right-hand side of the screen, left-clicking this little up arrow here, finding your antivirus program, and then right-clicking on it. Now, Windows Defender and Windows Security, you do not have to do anything with. You can leave this activated. But if you have something like McAfee or Norton or Kaspersky or any of those antivirus programs, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right click on it and look for something that says disable, quit, uh, game mode, or 
put to sleep for 15 minutes or something like that. You basically want to disable or turn off the antivirus program and anti-spyware program in order to install Java. So make sure you go over here, right click on it, disable your current antivirus software and anti-spyware stuff, and then just leave that where it is. Noted, um, shouldn't normally do that, but we are getting this from Java. It is a reputable company. Uh, do not have to worry about anything getting on. Uh, and you should absolutely make sure it is re-enabled when you're done with this process. All right, so now we've got the offline installer. Let's go ahead and start the process of installing it. I'm going to double click on the download for the offline installer. Let's give that a second to load. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just left click install here. Let it do its thing. It does not have to connect to the internet because it downloads the entire thing offline. This is also admittedly faster. And what I found out earlier was is I will have to close this to verify it here in a second. But all right, we've successfully installed Java. Perfect. That is exactly what we wanted to see. Now we want to verify it. And we're going to verify it two ways. The first way is to go back and go into the CMD or command window. So I want to load that. So let's load that there. We'll do a Java dash version command. Looks good. Came up as successfully installed. And let's also grab another file. Uh, one Something we've been doing on this channel and trying to maintain is Optifine instructions. So we'll go to downloads here. We'll go to mirror here. We'll go to download here. Left click on that. Download that jar file. Uh, noted we don't have Minecraft on here, so we're not going to install it and use it. But what we are going to do is right click on it because this does use Java in order to functionally open the file. We're going to show more options. We'll right click again here. We'll do open with, and we're going to left click Java platform SC binary. Now, the fact that it opens this installer tells me that it is indeed working. So step one, strip out any version of Java that you have previously on there. Uh, step two, make sure you've disabled antivirus, anti-spyware programs. And step three, do the install. I recommend doing the offline installer that may bypass um, a couple of problems if you're having them. And then, of course, double back, uh, make sure it's on there and make sure it's stable. Now, I note that there are more advanced troubleshooting steps out there. Uh, I will try to post some of that in the description field below. But for the basics, this should cover most of what you need to know to install and get Java working. I hope this also helps some of you who are having some problems installing Optifine. I know that Java especially has been a root problem and something that I've been getting a lot of comments on. So I hope this helps some of you. I do note that that is it for this video. Uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, throw it in the comments below. I absolutely do try to get to everybody's comments. Otherwise, guys, have a great rest of the day. Thank <laughs> you.